this particular program that we have is for people who have no coding experience. You don't need to know about coding uh, to basically enroll for this program. We will teach you everything that you need to learn to become a full stack developer. So who's this program for? Fresh graduates and early to mid career professionals looking to build a career. So if you, if you relate to one of these uh, positions, then that could be you. Uh, if you're a freelancer or an entrepreneur, now the world is actually working in that direction. There's, there are many more people in the world today who prefer to work uh, in their own uh, space uh, at their own time and they just pick up projects. And there's a huge opportunity um, uh, in the world right now, especially across uh, countries. I, I remember somebody asking a question, I think it was David who, who asked whether how he can get hired outside his country and and work for uh, work for a US based company. Well, David, you can actually start by uh, working on US based projects. Uh, that that could be one way of getting there. Uh, and as I mentioned, so no coding experience needed for this program. Uh, at the end of this program, what can you expect? Well, uh, these are the typical sort of jobs that you could be basically gunning for. So front end uh, developers, UI and UX developers, back end developers, full stack developers, uh, quality engineers. Uh, you would have to go through if you have if you have no coding background and you've just completed this program, you're not likely to end up being a senior front uh, full stack developer on day one. You're going to have to build your credentials and earn those credentials. But what we will do is we'll sort of put you, we'll skill you, and we'll put you on that road, which will lead you to a very successful career in full stack or software development. It's structured, it's sharp, and it's short. But what do I mean by that? So 20 weeks. The duration is approximately 20 weeks. Uh, and you can basically go from no code to uh, what you need to crack one of those jobs that, uh, that was there in the slide before. Uh, but it's not going to be easy. Uh, you have to put in at least 14 to 16 hours of effort every week. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you more about how, how uh, that will be broken into. How is the program delivered? This program is delivered online with live classes. So what we deliver and what we are uniquely um, pos uh, positioned as one of the best in the world for is the flipped classroom model. So what happens is experts like Alejandro and, uh, and several others will record some videos for you on concepts that they want you to see during the week. So Monday to, between Monday and Friday, you will watch those videos. There will be some practice coding problems. There will be some quizzes that you will attempt. All of that is to get you comfortable and familiar with the concepts. Then come the weekend. And on the weekend, you have a solid two hour live session with a mentor like Alejandro, who's going to take you through a use case. Now, what is unique about our product and the way we deliver this is that almost all our mentors come from industry. So they are able to relate uh, the concepts to exact applications in the real world. They can share their own experiences. They can tell you about some of the projects they're working on. So technology moves at a very fast pace. Uh, every couple of weeks, they, they, there is something new to, uh, to learn. And people from industry are best positioned to help you sort of bridge that gap. Um, and that's sort of worked for us really well so far. So online sessions over the weekends, uh, videos uh, for a couple of hours to be watched during the, uh, uh, during the weeks. And then we also have from time to time webinars and career specific sessions to help you start, uh, sort of start thinking about the next steps. So um, it's gonna be intensive. Uh, 16 to 18 hours, that's a lot of commitment, but people have done it. People actually do more than that. Um, there are programs where we've seen people deliver 30, 40 hours a week as well when they need it to. Uh, it's, a, it's about having the commitment for it. Uh, you get all the videos, you get access to quizzes, practice coding problems, lectures, um, and you also get something which is very unique to us. Uh, you get a solid academic operations team to back you. So you will have support sessions, live support sessions during the week where you can log in and ask your queries. Anytime you get stuck on something, Alejandro and I discussed this. Uh, it takes a very long time if you don't know what the right answer is or what the right question is to ask. So you're doing, you're working on a piece of code, you get stuck somewhere, you can't figure out how to use a framework or how to find the right library for it, or you, you have an error in your code, especially the logical errors are the most difficult to solve for. 
and not the syntactical ones. And then you need somebody to just come in and help you. And we have that set up there. So you just basically raise a ticket and in a couple of hours, someone will pick that up and, and help you basically figure out uh, how to take the next step. So that's there. Finally, one last piece uh, is what uh, you see here called dedicated program managers. Um, the, I think Ahmed has a question on uh, which frameworks kind of, I'm just coming to that in the next slide. So thank you for ask, asking that. Um, so what we have realized over these years is a lot of people want to learn, but they are not, uh, but they lose, um, uh, the momentum, they, they lose the motivation, they get stuck somewhere, uh, sometimes it's personal issues, sometimes it's professional issues, and, and the journey can break. So that is when you need a friend, you need somebody um, who can sort of get you help quickly. Uh, and that's what our dedicated program managers do. They monitor how your progress is, they'll, they'll reach out to you, they'll have conversations with you, they'll be seeing what your grades look like, uh, they'll, uh, which, uh, which classes did you not attend? Uh, if you are sort of struggling, you sort of reach out to them and uh, you, you can ask for additional academic help and they'll sort of arrange all of this for you. So you have a, a friend in the company who's sort of looking after you specifically. And that's also something that kind of is, is unique to great learning. So uh, that's pretty much the program in a nutshell. And once you complete the program, you will also get a certificate and an e-portfolio. An e-portfolio is basically something that you can uh, put up on uh, uh, on your LinkedIn profile as well and, and, and the certificate, which signals to the world and the employers all the stuff that you've done uh, and you start showing up on searches much more. Uh, and it's a great way of uh, kind of sharing uh, your learning journey with people. The curriculum in a nutshell that we have put together for you. Uh, there's a short uh, four week pre-work. Uh, this is for people, especially who have no coding experience. Uh, we just introduce you to what is a Mern stack, what are the basics of web development, uh, what is Git, GitHub. Um, we, we'll talk about that in a minute. Then there's a the front end. Uh, so there's uh, there's things, uh, there are uh, sort of tools and technologies and languages. So there's HTML, CSS. JavaScript is the key language which you will use throughout this program. Um, then there's there are some databases. Now there are types of databases in there. There are SQL, non-SQL databases. We focus on non-SQL uh, databases and one particular type, which is the Mongo. Uh, we use the MERN stack, which basically stands for Mongo, Express, Node, um, and, and React. So those are the four technologies that sort of come together to help you create um, a, a full application. Uh, now there are other stacks, but this is the most prominent um, stack uh, used in the world. And then we cap it up right at the end with some insights on cloud and DevOps. Now cloud and DevOps, to be honest, is a huge uh, topic and we actually have a separate six month program for that. However, this will at least give you the fundamentals so you can sort of start your learning journey. Uh, Alejandro, anything you would like to uh, say about the curriculum and, and the MERN stack? Uh, why did we choose that? And why is that the focal point, for example? Yeah, I saw that a lot of people are asking about the, the framework that they have to use and the, the language. Uh, basically, JavaScript is like the most prominent language that has been used in nowadays. Uh, you can build anything with JavaScript. With JavaScript, you can be in the front end, you can be in the the back end, and you can connect it to a database. So I would recommend to start using JavaScript to start learning JavaScript because it's the most simple and the most useful useful language that you can start learning. And then you can focus on the on the framework because the framework are going to use JavaScript in the in the background. So you first need to understand how JavaScript works and all the cores all the um, the course and the fundamentals that the that the uh, language follows so then you can focus on on learning react which is the the, the most uh, popular and the most used uh, used uh, framework for development so i would recommend to just focus on first on html css and javascript and once you feel comfortable with javascript you can start learning react You watch a few videos, 
you go to the live classes, you spend as much time as you can practicing coding. Now there again, we will give you practice coding problems. We'll even give you solutions for those. So if you get stuck, you can kind of cheat, have a sneak peek and move on. Uh, but that, that will sort of help you. And then there is, um, there's optional support sessions, which are also live and then additional support available uh, online uh, through the ticketing system. Now, there is something which, uh, which is uh, uh, unique and I've been holding back about the curriculum. In this particular program, you are going to build an ent entire application end to end as you go along. So uh, think of building a web store or an e-commerce application like an Amazon um, web store. Every, every time you learn something, we will get you to, to create one, one piece uh, for, for the application. So as you keep learning, you keep adding more and more pieces. And by the end of the program, you will have an entire application, a full full stack develop, uh, full stack application that you yourself would have put together. Now that works brilliantly when you are uh, basically going for job interviews or basically pitching for projects because people want to know not just about what you, uh, what you have learned, but how have you used it? Can you demonstrate your knowledge and your coding prowess. And projects and a body of work do just that. All conversations are usually around that. Show me what you've done. What was, why did you basically make the decisions? Why did you use the specific frameworks? What were the challenges? Um, and that's something which is also unique to, our, uh, to this program. You're gonna build this entire application step-by-step step as you go through the program. Uh, Alejandro, from your experience uh, with interviews, et cetera, uh, what are the typical, what are core areas people focus on when they, they look for a full stack developer? They will first ask you the, the experience that you have, like how much years of experience. And I, like I said, uh, you can even get uh, scared with the years of experience because sometimes job description asks for five years of experience, but that should not scare you because that is the, the purpose of that. Like they can make that job description like it's so huge and you can basically fit the, the role that like you don't have to be afraid of applying to a job because you don't know a technology or you don't feel that you have you don't have all the experience. Uh, sometimes technology is learned by the way, like doing the projects, uh, uh, exercising, making a problem and solving the problem. So basically what they are looking is like a problem solver. That's a person that they give a problem and they can solve it. Even if they know if they don't know how to, how to solve it, that they can find a solution to that problem, that you can guarantee a, a solution. So basically you don't need to know everything. You, you just need to know the course and know how to solve the problems. Uh, 